keeps everything under pressure so so we can maintain this distance very very well okay and so let's say this is going to have a very big resistance because uh, there is uh, uh, let's say 10 millimeters here okay so this is going to restrict the amps this is going to restrict the current flow by the 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 distance okay by the bulk distance of the water however however at the electrode here uh, we are going to verify the most uh, the greatest the greatest voltage drop because uh, when we talk about water it's not it's not very linear the potential drop if you put a multimeter and you start to map the voltage drop here you're going to see that a lot of the voltage drop is going to be here and here and in the middle we are going to very have a very linear voltage uh, when working at very low voltage when you go higher in voltage half volt half volts are close to 0 0.1 0 0.8 volts is going to be here and here and then the electric field is going to be uh, distributed at this uh, resistance of the bulk water you know? so uh, what is the idea the idea would be to apply let's say um, 5 volts here okay DC and let's say we have a choke here let's say we have a choke here and now uh, we are going to apply here and and here it pulls it I it pulls it voltage at very low voltage but very high current um, ability okay here we are applying maybe five volts uh, like let's say two amps two amps okay this voltage is going to maintain the ions collected at the electrodes okay much more than are be, are being able to be discharged because this resistance here is making a voltage drop across this entire water volume okay and so if we apply here let's see here here is positive so we want to prevent the electrons from going into this direction we want the electrons to go into this direction so we are going to have a diode locking diode here and connected here and now this is going to be pulsed okay and but let's pulse it with 12 volts let's say 5 volts whatever if this is a let's say 30 to 1 reason or 10 to 1 reason we are going to be applying here half volts and half volts 
if we if we manage to to take uh, maybe another two amps here and another two amps here by doing this okay this is going to be the negative so electrons should instead to instead of going there we want them to go here so again I think this is it okay so uh, guys uh, what do you think about it um, I would like to hear your opinion and I'd like to ask if any but any of you have ever tried anything like this I am very, very excited about this idea. I was thinking about some something more, uh, more simple in the past, but now I guess this, if we can find this, this screen that is able to capture the ion you know the the backflow of ions coming from the electrode and perhaps uh, use it as this, this manner of deviate or impede the, the electrons to flow through the main circuit you can you create two secondary circuits to prevent the electric flow, to, the, to prevent the electron flow in this direction. So we are going to use the voltage as a potential energy. Just like Meyer said, his ideas was not wrong. He just didn't want it. anyone to do it, to make it. He wanted to uh, to be in the control of everything so uh, I hope you like my little theory it's not the only one I have I actually have a couple of or more than a couple of other theories and things I want I would like to build to to, to try but give the thumbs up Subscribe to the channel and let's hope we, we manage to make this. If you have uh, the ability of, if you have some good financial <laughs> finances, you could, it could help me maybe donating some money through my PayPal account. Bring power to the people, gmail.com and perhaps with a little help I could put some more effort in trying to replicate in this I actually have some palladium and platinum to make some of these screens but I'm lacking some money to, to get the actual uh, screen to apply the platinum or palladium and your help would be very nice so please subscribe give the thumbs up and hope you enjoy and if you can please do the test and tell us what happened to you I suggest to use a um, nylon screen between these two these two electrodes okay so this is going to be a flat stainless steel electrode then a nylon screen in the middle to separate, isolate electrically. Then a stainless steel screen or a metal screen with catalyzing properties. And here's the same. And here in the middle, you could use a wood piece. Wood, yes. Or maybe uh, paper or something. Maybe 
uh, something that can get wet and allow this this current flow this ionic current flow okay but uh, something that limits this this current flow is also a good idea because it's going to maybe help increase this voltage drop and restrict the amps okay but okay i think this is all for now hope you enjoy it's going to be a long video that's it